So shortly after Bob and I met in 2012, the first thing we started testing is for the different seaweeds when we were targeting really the microvasculature, what would be optimal. And so the seaweed we are using in endocalyx uh, was tested in early pilot studies in humans and using the glycocheck device uh, to measure the level of glycocalyx damage. You could clearly see that the formula in endocalyx is very effective. Already in a few weeks, we could see that the level of glycocalyx damage could be reduced significantly in these early pilot studies. Furthermore, as shown already in my earlier webinar on the science of glycocalyx, we use the tool for in vivo studies in mice to monitor the level of leukocyte adhesion to the vascular wall as a measure for inflammation. So again, this is shown here. This is a microscopic image of a small venule. On the left-hand side, the small venule is impaled by a small glass micropipette, and every few seconds we can inject either just a saline solution or a solution with enzymes that breaks down your glycocalyx and causes inflammation, causing these inflammatory cells to stop rolling and tick to the endothelium as a sign of local inflammation. So what we did, we exposed the vessel wall to enzymes like hyaluronidase, shown in red, that measured the effect of glycocalyx breakdown on the development of the inflammatory response. And this slide shows you that compared to the baseline level of leukocyte adhesion, as soon as glycocalyx is damaged by the hyaluronidase enzyme, within minutes, you see that there is a two or threefold increase in the level of sticking leukocytes to the endothelium. So a very acute and very significant increase in the level of inflammation as soon as glycocalyx is damaged. In contrast, if the animals were given endocalyx before the inflammatory challenge to damage glycocalyx was immediately repaired again by the endocalyx, and you see that the endocalyx is completely able to prevent the increase in, in level of inflammation in this acute animal model. Again, as Bob already mentioned, in addition to the restoration of glycocalyx by the CV inside the endocalyx, we also realized that because of the similarities in the structure of the seaweed and endocalyx compared with the heparin sulfate polysaccharides of glycocalyx, there's also a very high binding affinity of the Foucauldian seaweed to an enzyme called heparinase. And that's again is the enzyme responsible for glycocalyx damage. But this uh, curve on the left just shows you that higher concentrations of Foucauldian can completely inhibit the, the heparinase activity. And our current measurements of the plasma levels of Foucauldian show that Taking endocalyx will give you plasma levels of recording that are about 50 times higher than the dose shown in this in vitro study necessary to block the heparinase activity. That's also confirmed on the right hand side where we show blood samples from patients. Patients not taking endocalyx show a reference level of uh, heparinase activity. And then by taking endocalyx, we can completely inhibit the activity of the heparinase enzyme and thereby preventing more damage to their glycocalyx.